आप और आप आप और आप यहाँ द चीफ होस्ट इज मिस्टर सिप्तन काजमे मिस्टर काजमे इज द सी ई ओ ऑफ ए मनी मेट मोर्गेज इंक लोकेटेड इन टाइसन कोनर वर्जीनिया दिस जेंटलमैन इज क्वाइट अ पीपल्स पर्सन हिज गेस्ट्स ऑन आप और आप क्या बात है क्या तारीफ करो वो सारे तारीफ के काबिल है वन सच पर्सन वेल शी हैज़ दी एबिलिटी ऑफ फैशन एंड शी हेल्स फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑफ फैशन है नेम मिस इज आयशिया जबरान लेट्स मीट है गुड मॉर्निंग सप्तान का आजमी आपके सामने पेश खिदमत हैं आप और आपके एक और एपिसोड के साथ मेरे माजी के एपिसोड में ऐसे ऐसे कस्म के लोगों को मैंने बुलाया जो उस्ताद भी रहे हैं शायर भी हैं डिज़ाइनर्स भी हैं मुख्तल आज के प्रोग्राम में आई हैव लेडी हु इज़ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ क्वाइट ऑफ थिंग्स सो विदाउट एनी डिले आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम आयशा जबरान आयशा हाउ आर यू Good. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you very much uh, for coming to Thank my you for show. And me here. I, I know uh, you're a very busy lady with two boys, and uh, and your work and all of that. So thank you. Thank you for uh, having me here. Pleasure. Aisha, आप से मेरी मुलाकात हुई चार अक्टूबर एक फैशन शो में जो शेरिटन प्रीमियर में हुआ था. Yes. Tell me about that fashion show. के ए उसका नाम क्या था? So the name is Elegant 2015. Okay. okay. And the fashion show basically it's a multicultural fashion show. It um shows different culture and different fashion from all the Middle East. Hmm. Um it's basically showing the beauty of the Middle East and I feel like whatever's going on in the Middle East the best way to show the positive side of the Middle East would be showing the fashion and the beauty concept of it. Wow. So when you mention uh, Middle East um Uh, Middle East consists of several countries. Any specific countries? Well, we had um, designers from Morocco, designers from Armenia. We had designers from Pakistan, uh-huh. um, from Lebanon, and oh. Dubai as well. Wow! So it must be a very difficult task to have all these uh, uh, designers uh, under one roof. It was very difficult. And uh, uh, they, these designers, they live in these countries, or they live in America. Or? They do. So they live in those countries. Um, some oh. of them travel back and forth, but the main is the country that they're from. Wow! So they all came for that. Absolutely. And how many models did you have? We had up to thirty-five models. Male, female, together, or just together. all together? Together. Thirty. Thirty-five models. Thirty-five models. Mm-hmm. And how many total designers? We had five designers total. Wow. So and how long uh, did it take you to prepare for all of this? It took us up to a year. Really? It was a year long of Wow. That's that's, that's fantastic mm-hmm. because because these designers don't live in this country and, and to communication. I understand that in today's time yes. and age uh, telephone is not a, a difficult thing, but however, time difference and all that it must be It was very difficult to coordinate everything with all the designers uh-huh. and um the language barrier was like the main thing correct, correct, main correct, concern correct. for us as well. Okay, you mentioned just now that you said that whatever is going on nowadays uh you thought fashion is such to bring back you said something like that. So can you elaborate so what do you mean? So we kind of wanted to give the positive concept of the Middle East. Um okay. you know, I feel like the best way was to show the beauty of, you know, Pakistan, Dubai, Morocco, Lebanon, and what better place was than DC, uh-huh. you know, the diversity here. Correct, so. correct, correct. So you want you wanted to bring okay that's that's fantastic and are you are originally from Pakistan? I'm originally from Pakistan. From what part? Lahore. Oh really? Where in Lahore? I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> I was born and raised here. Oh okay okay okay. okay. Your your parents, parents are from Lahore. Uh, from Lahore. Yes. You do you go back? I have not been back. Really? I, mean, I have I've been there once when I was four years old, but not been. Not back. since then. No. You should go. I do want to go. I it's, do want to go. It's 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 amazing. I'm it's planning. A, I go there at least it. once a year. Mm-hmm. And uh, Lahore is definitely one of the places I visit. I have family there. Yes. Uska, um, so, as far as the fashion show is concerned, mm-hmm. uh, do are you a designer yourself? Also, I am not a designer. However, you have a product. Yes, I do from okay. Morocco. 
from Morocco. Mm -hmm. what, tell me about your product. So my product basically is an organic argan oil, the highest class of argan oil from the Berber tribe. And uh -huh. what we do is we enrich it with more vitamins and minerals. Uh -huh. And um, we sell the product in Saudi Arabia and the USA. And um, we'll be selling in Dubai soon as well. Okay, so this product, uh, in order to sell it in America, does it have to be approved by So FDA? it has to be certified, uh -huh. and it has to go through a couple different testing where um, it goes to the lab okay. and gets certified as being organic and 100% pure argan oil in order for us to um, sell it as 100% pure argan oil, uh -huh. enhanced with more vitamins and minerals and stuff. And what's the name of the product? Job Argan. It's tell, it's in the camera. So what? the product name is Jab Argan, and we have five different products. Wow! Mm -hmm. And where uh, where do we find this? So you can find it online, okay. and as well as um, there's a couple different spas that are selling it here, a medical supply uh, store oh. in Falls Church, and um, yeah, it's wow. online. So uh, how how are you marketing this product? So basically, we're marketing it through uh, social media. That's okay. my main goal. It's uh -huh. to market it through social media, and it's just um, through the mouth um, references. I'm like, in order to get to uh, to a spa, that must be mm -hmm. a. a, a like, uh, I'm trying to connect. To, did you were you promoting your your product, the fashion yes, show? Yes, we also? were promoting Job Argon, and um, the main concept behind this was that Job Argon represents beauty. Okay. And Elegance 2015, the fashion show represented beauty from the Middle East as well. So, your product name had that's a mixture of your last name and and the name of the product that um, we have, Argon. Jab is from Jabron, and my father's last name was Jabron. He was a very well-known singer in Morocco, oh. and so it's his tribe who actually uh, plants the Mor uh, the Argon trees uh -huh. and um, you know have wow. the Argon oil. So, and it is being manufactured in Morocco? Manufactured only in Morocco. Um, the argan tree is only uh, grown in Morocco uh -huh. and um, from the desert and um, brought to the lab, from the lab to the USA and Saudi Arabia. Wow, <clears throat> that's, that's incredible. Yes. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, how do you, you have two kids, <laughs> one husband, <laughs> yes. and, uh, and, uh, and the business, and the fashion. So what is the, the biggest hurdle uh, you come across <clears throat> because you know end pro everybody look at the end product and there's like oh my god this person is is getting a lot of fame making a lot of money and they look at the end product mm -hmm. they they don't mm -hmm. an average individual does not see um, what are the hardships because you said it took you one year to to prepare for this mm -hmm. what, what was the biggest hurdle the basically to manage my family and my business. Uh -huh. um, uh, it's very difficult. I was a stay-at-home mom, so that mentality my husband still had that I'm a stay-at-home mom. Okay. But it was very difficult to give time to my kids, my husband, and then my business as well. Wow. I'm still trying to, you know, adjust to uh -huh. the change, but it's that was my main, that was the biggest difficulty for me. Wow, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming your husband is from Morocco. Yes, he's from Morocco. So he was a great support for you? Yes, on, absolutely. On this. He was, he if it wasn't for him. It's not a hobby, <laughs> no. it's a profession. Absolutely, uh, yes. Definitely. Yes. So which out of five more uh, designers, mm -hmm. and uh, we cannot really say favoritism, but which uh, designer product you personally like? I personally like the Pakistani designer, Kuki. Um, the reason why is he had a lot of antique look to his outfits. Um, oh. And it, I, I feel like it was very unique. Uh -huh. And it was beautiful. And you mentioned him, Kuki. Kuki Concept. Kuki Zahid Concept. Khan from Kuki Concept. Zahid Khan from Kuki Concept. Yes. Achha, achha. So, uh, wo, and he's, I'm assuming, he's from Lahore. Yes, he is. Okay. And how did you get to know him? Are you related um, to him? Or? So I've been following him on Facebook, social media for uh -huh. a long period of time. And then I um, bumped into him at Disney World. <laughs> Disney World? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, basically harassed him <laughs> to be part of the show. And he was, um, he was on, honored to be part of the show. Wow. But um, yeah, so that's I'm how like, it worked I'm out. I'm still a little puzzled because <laughs> I used to be involved mm -hmm. organizing uh, fashion shows. And to, to do a fashion show with designer being out of the country mm -hmm. and models are here and, and the coordination, 
I mean, they, were you guys doing video conferencing or how, how was it? <coughs> Skype and Facebook Messenger was our best friend at okay. that time. And um, we just had to stay in contact. So whatever you have to do, you have to do in order to, you know, interact with the designers and, um, you know, send pictures, uh, upload. It, it was very hectic, but um, it's doable. So, you know. Well, if you say it's doable. <laughs> so here's my next question. Uh -huh. When is the next fashion show? Uh, next year. Next year. Yes, 2016. 2016. And you, your view, I mean, uh, the venue is... Uh... Um, well, we're actually looking into a couple different venues, but um, we will have more designers from different countries. Different countries? Yes. Like? <clears throat> from Indonesia, from um, Saudi Arabia. Uh -huh. So we're working on it. Well, talk to me. The, the concept, what people usually have of... of Middle Eastern mm -hmm. women fashion mm -hmm. is supposedly very conservative mm -hmm. and all that. In that being, thinking of that, being conservative and all that, Saudi Arabia designers, mm -hmm. explain what They're kind phenomenal. of... They're um, phenomenal. I think that what we don't understand is that Saudi Arabia is kind of, we would say, a narrow-minded um, country but the fashion there is amazing the really? kaftans the abayas there the work um it's very beautiful it's very dramatic and that's what i kind of want to show the american society that look how beautiful the the fashion is in saudi arabia in dubai in morocco in pakistan uh -huh. indonesia is one of um, it's not all hijab it's, it's, it's not only hijab they have beautiful evening gowns um with and beautiful women. crystals yes beautiful women yes, yeah yes. They, they like you know the, the the Middle East beauty is yes. not only in in, um, in history wise and architectural mm -hmm. and, and all of that people of uh, Middle East are, are, are beautiful, are beautiful. Are yes beautiful absolutely people. So you in you planning in, in uh, 2016, you said? 2016. What are the things, because we all learn from our experiences, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, we try things, and sometimes it's a hit, and sometimes not. Mm -hmm. And when it's not a hit, we learn what not to do. Right. At least that's what my philosophy is, could be completely wrong. What are the things you are thinking that you are not going to do? Um, first of all, I would change my partners that I had in okay. in this fashion show. Um, that would be my main, main goal. And second of all, I feel like we should market it as much as I, I wasn't able to market as much, even though we had a great outcome. Uh -huh. um, but uh, basically, I wanted to bring more um, talent to the show as well. Okay. So more culture. Um, I think our goal was to get all different cultures in one place, um, and we did that. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's a positive thing that we will definitely stick with for the next fashion show. Um, so you, you felt from the last fashion show, you felt that you have accomplished what you wanted to accomplish. Absolutely. Our goal was to get all different cultures in one atmosphere, and that's what we did. Wow. Well, Aisha, I, um, we are running a little short on time, but we have a little bit of time. I would like to say about 30 seconds to you mm -hmm. that inspiring models if they want to be talk about give a message about from fashion industry to to people floor is yours um basically i would say to models do not give up um, fashion designers do not give up uh, keep following your goals your dreams and you will definitely succeed in life that's a very small message. Being very <laughs> oh, I don't know what else to say. I'm <laughs> well, not you can, a model. You can, you can, you can talk <laughs> about your, uh, your, your, uh, your product. You know, uh, is there a website? So, or, yes, or? our website is www.jubarganoil.com. And it's an organic uh, product, the multi-purpose product. So you can use this oil on your hair, skin, and nails. Wow. This is because, you know, we see these products in the mall, little kiosks, and yes. then they have this thing, and uh, and then it doesn't work. It costs you... Uh, well, this is the highest class of argan oil, and um, it's only found in France and with me. Oh. Yes. Well, Aisha, thank you so much for coming by. You're it welcome. It was such thank a pleasure, and I, I'm so thankful that on your busy schedule with the kids and everything, you took some time out and, and come all the way out here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for thank having me. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, Sipten Ghazmi, Aparat. Hold out this.